Sorry, this video will actually derive um, RK cosine K theta. I don't know whether is it really cosine K theta or um, cosine theta to the power of K. Alright, but as long as you need to know that they are in terms of a certain sinusoidal, um, certain um, this form will do. Alright, this is just some curve. Alright, in terms of this. Alright, I just want to convey and vaguely, um, not really, but rather than um, go through um, how do I um, seven derive this thing such that we can actually link this um, to the previous part where we talk about the step input and the exponential input. Uh, we're going to use certain understandings to help us um, 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 see the link between that. And so uh, it'll, be, it'll be a... yeah, anyway, let's continue. So normally when you see a cosine, you want to actually express in terms of the jk theta and minus jk theta. Alright, or j theta minus because so currently now we have um, some cosine theta, this is the Euler's formula you still remember and in terms of the power of k because there is exponential k over here. But well, in this case because I don't know how to solve this, alright, I'll just simply remove the k first, alright. Later on we just add it back, alright, let's add it back. So we have ej theta and e minus j theta, okay. What is this does is just taking um, this one, alright, your plus, alright, so ej theta e minus j theta over here is equals to cosine theta plus cosine theta is 2 cosine theta j sine theta minus j sine theta because it's plus minus j sine theta so therefore it's 0 alright I'll just bring these two to the other side so I can simply rearrange this cosine theta in terms of this form alright which is seen over here as this but I don't know where the k come from okay so this is something that I, I really don't know What's blur for me is that um, E4, and in terms of K, is actually somewhat this thing over here. Alright, this is E4. So this is not, uh, E4 is just some, some name saying that this is an equation, uh, okay, but I don't know why they put E4 also, but it's just some name of the equation. Alright, so in terms of K, something like e, e in terms of K, or Y in terms of T, something like that. So in this case, um, E in terms, E4 in terms of K, is this one. I mean it's, it's this one. This is E4 and then in terms of K. Alright. But so how do we solve this? Alright. How do we solve this thing? Since we have uh, already proved to you that is we have somewhere somewhat come to here. Alright, although not totally or, or all the way here. What I can do now is actually factorize out my half over here is one one divided by two, right? So I just factorize my half is over here. I'm i multiplying the RK into um, the E stuff, alright, so the RK is over here, alright, or well, the EJK theta and the minus JK theta is over here, alright, so far so good, just ignore what I've said, or perhaps I'll just take a, a thing of two to to feel, get a feel of how I derived this one to here, alright, in, in the future if you know then you'll just do another video, but anyway, let's, let's continue first, alright, so now once you have this thing over here, um, we can actually um, so-called Z transform this whole stuff, or Z transform this whole stuff. Okay, so this Z transform this whole stuff. You somewhat need to um, Z trans. So what we can do is to firstly Z transform this one, and then Z transform this one, and then sum them up together again. All right. So I'll just do this one first. Okay. If I were to do this one first, this thing over here. All right. This is the the parameter to transform a certain stuff. All right. It's the mathematical equation. So of of this certain function. And once I do this. I see there is a common term over here, alright, there is a k and a k and a k over here. What I can do is to factorize out the k. Alright, so I have r e j theta, z, if I auto factorize out the, this, this k, I'll have z minus 1, z k, alright. So this whole thing is like this, right. So I'm just simply doing that right now. Eh, no, 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 sorry. It should be, this is, a, this is another mistake again. So z minus 1 to the power of k, alright. So, yeah. So what I mean is, I just simply write this over here and to the power of k. You mu multiply k into here and here and here, I'll have back this one. I'm just simply factorizing out their exponential k and, and put it outside. Alright, so far so good. This summation over here. Alright, and if you still remember the power series equation, I mean this series, you can, this summation of this series is this one, right? And we can re simply re re rewrite this whole series as 1 over 1 minus a. Alright, and this a over here seems very familiar to our this piece over here. 
we can generalize this whole thing as a right because we have some k over here and therefore what we have is this all right so this is our a instead of writing z minus 1 as this case i can write as 1 over z all right this is why i actually write it over here right now okay i can simply rearrange this one right i can simply times z over z which is just one if you still remember i just simply multiplying everything inside what do i have is z over z minus r e j theta okay where you will know that your um, z has to be larger than your r e j theta okay this is coming back from here all right if you want to sorry should be here all right so it's one minus absolute r e j theta z just think that this is the absolute value all right and i mean in order to be stable your for the the unit circle your your this part over here must be smaller than one correct this part over here must be smaller than one if i were to bring this z up i'll have z um absolute value r e j theta all right same thing I said I didn't write the absolute. I should have write it strictly speaking. All right. So therefore, this thing over here, all right, is for this thing over here. All right. I simply take this one, as we say, and then I I, I rearrange and all the way I come here. All right. This is one piece, one part that we have just started out just now. We have another part, but because this is the same same method of solving, all right. Eventually, you'll get something um like this. All right. Uh, sorry, this one. Okay, yeah, let's paste first for We have um, translated this piece of information to this one and this piece of information to this one. Alright? It's just simply um, doing what we have done just now by deriving a um, model way using the power series. Alright, so the power series is a very useful um, thing to do. Alright? So now, how do we um, um, continue to do this? Alright, this is not the final step yet. The objective is to translate this thing into this thing okay to my humble opinion i may be wrong is that in order to do that all right you're gonna make the denominator the same all right first make their denominator the same so so you can sum up all this stuff over here and then multiplying your half once you do that already or simply this okay so i'm multiplying this thing in terms of um, z minus r e j theta all right minus because this one is uh, plus so i'm just gonna do in terms of minus and then um, for this this z over here which is this one is denominator is minus z so i'm going to multiply in terms of a j theta z minus r e j theta so in, in other sense i'm just simply um so-called um trying to merge them together as one piece as you have been seen it's already uh, merge them as one piece now i'll just simply change um since we know that r e j theta i mean e minus j theta is actually the, the euler's formula that we have shown you over here Right, you can simply sub it in, and you rearrange, you'll get this thing over here. It's a very tedious process. All right, so that's why I don't want to derive. It's really gonna kill me. All right, with the understanding that this is your um the parameter, your your region of convergence. Otherwise, um these things will be unstable. So your z has to be larger than r. Otherwise, unstable. Okay, haven't finished yet. All right, haven't finished yet. Haven't proved to you that how do we take this formula. Right, to become step input and exponential input and therefore let's do it now you know that for the cosine system cosine 0 is equals to 1 all right and therefore it's simply starting from the the origin axis and eventually it goes to like this but because of the digital input it will just go in a sine wave all right by dots all right so therefore in with in, in relevance to this understanding, let's sub in theta as 0 and theta as pi over 2, where it's also 90 degrees. All right, because cosine theta will become 0 in this case. So what we have is this thing. All right, let's draw a line. All right, so for this case, if theta is equal to 0, I mean theta equals to 0, this one will become 1. This one will become 1. So what I have is z times z minus r, all right, which is over here. Alright, then we have z square minus 2r times 1, which is 2r also, times z. So it's minus 2rz plus r square over here. Alright, just clean things up a little bit. Then, in this case, for this denominator over here, we know that this is simply equals to z minus r square. Alright, you can do it out later on, you, you will know. 
is the same thing. So we have z over z minus r, z minus r square, right? And then I can cancel out the the r square. I'll have this um, z over z minus r. And do you find this familiar? This is the one that we have derived previously in the previous video, the exponential r k. Or when you z transform your r k, you will have this thing over here. All right. Now let's take a look of how this thing works. All right. Same thing. Uh, not very same, but rather than d greater equals to pi over two, ninety degrees. Therefore, um, this whole thing becomes zero. When cosine ninety is zero, you can type inside your calculator. So I have z times z, z square. This whole thing becomes zero because cosine theta is zero. All right. And so therefore, I have z square um, plus r square. All right. So I have z square plus r square over here. And this this is simply minus zero. All right. Just if in case you you feel that I'm cheating you. Alright, now how do we write this thing? Divide by one over z square and divided by one over z square. This whole thing is simply one. Okay, so when I multiply this thing over here, I cancel this and this. <coughs> All I left is one. Okay, and then same thing. I can multiply this into both of them. All right. So I'll just show you lah. Okay, so I multiply in already. So this this one becomes one, right? Since we say that. So this one will cancel out each other because this will over z square, and then r square over z square is simply um, r over z square. Okay. So what we have is, <laughs> in fact, I think I've cheated your feeling. All right. We shouldn't as actually sub in as ninety. All right. When you sub in as ninety, yes, we can sub in, but there's there's no meaning to it. All right. You just leave it like that. All right. But what we can derive with um, the exponential term all right z over z minus r is that if we r is equals to one all right we will have z over z minus one and this is in fact your step input straightforward i will i go all, all around damn it anyway so we actually derived um, our stuff using um, this one when theta is equals to zero we see um, that it, it actually um, diverge into exponents or step input uh, which is something um, kind of cool in the next video we'll talk about um, trapezoidal input and we shall see you there